it all started completely totally and fantastically normal my family and i arrived to madeira beach the night before with the anticipation of a very fun week-long vacation with our first full day being today the fourth of july As evening turned to night, one thing became very clear to me, Florida knows how to celebrate the 4th. I mean, no matter where I looked, fireworks littered the entire landscape everywhere. The hotel we were staying at happened to have a rooftop pool, bar, and balcony, so most of the guests, including us, were up there having a good time, taking in an awesome show shot off real close, and again, just witnessing the sheer mass of fireworks lighting up the peaceful night sky. If it seems a bit creepy right now, that's because it was. At first. I mean, we're literally having fun atop this hotel with this huge freaking hurricane staring right at us. It was crazy, but yet it wasn't for some reason. Elsa, which is what the hurricane was called, wasn't really that incredibly strong, kind of teetering between Tropical Storm and Cat 1 status, but nonetheless, you could clearly see the outer bands turn toward us. Besides cops closing down the barrier island we were on to tourists, it didn't really seem though like the locals cared much about the storm, which assured a rookie like myself we didn't have anything to worry about. And so as Elsa arrived at night on July the 6th, I went out to check out the conditions. The very next day, in fact the very next morning, that was it. Sunny skies, people already back on the seaweed littered beach, and life goes on. And in all honesty, the winds that I experience on a weekly basis in downtown San Francisco trumps whatever we had here. And even the rain wasn't that bad at all. It did kinda whiff the Tampa area, or almost whiff. I mean, someone had to pay the price. The rest of the trip went very smoothly. Really, just like the first half. So yes, I'm very much truly sorry but the title is 95% clickbait. Last two days were extremely gorgeous. 
We went back over to John's Pass to walk around, ate at a few cool seafood restaurants, enjoyed a somewhat emptier beach now, went to a few bars, and took in the last Floridian sunset on this trip before it was time to start thinking about tomorrow.